Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom bins within Power BI using the conditional column uh, feature which is available within Power BI. Now in one of the last tutorial, I had, I had taught you how to create or use the uh, bins function within Power BI where you can simply create on a new group and create size of bins over here or select the number of bins that you want. Let's say you want 10 bins. That's how I have created this particular visual that you see over here, which have been grouped as 0 to 10, 20 to, uh, 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, etc. And then the number of people who are there in that particular age group. But however, if you have a, a slightly different requirement, wherein let's say in this particular uh, chart that you see over here that I have created using the custom column, you will see that I have grouped all the miners into one bucket. I have grouped all 100 and above age people within one bucket and then 18 to 25 in another bucket, which is basically a custom bucket based on your requirements. So uh, you will not be able to do that using the uh, new group feature over here and by creating the bins in this particular dialog box. So that is where the conditional column feature uh, comes into the play and helps you create the custom bins without you having to write any sort of DAX. Also, a lot of people have been requesting to share the uh, data set or the Power BI file that I use to create these tutorials. So I'm going to do that going forward. So I'm going to leave a link to this particular Power BI file in the description of this video. Please do check it out and you can try it for yourself. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do here is show you the data set that I have over here. I have the age column and as you can see over here, I have age ranging all the way from two year and then up to 115. Now let's try and create a custom group or bins uh, for this particular age group and see how we can go ahead with this. What we will do is we will get into the Power Query editor. Either you can click on transform data and then click on transform data from the home tab. And then over here, let's go to the add column section and click on conditional column. So once you arrive at this particular dialog box over here, you can give a name to your uh, column. Uh, so I'm going to call this as age bucket. And then it's asking me to enter an if a column name over here in the if condition, which is nothing but my age column over here. And then the operator here is going to be is greater than or equal to. So in this particular approach, what we will follow is we will use the maximum value first and then come towards the lower values. So we will be using the top down approach over here. So the value here is going to be, let's say we have some buckets. So let's say we want to bucket them, everybody who is greater than 100 into one particular bucket. So I'm just going to say more than 100 as the uh, output over here. If anybody who is more than 100, I'm going, I want the output as greater than 100. I'm going, and then I'm going to add another clause over here, else if, if it is not 100, then go to age years and then look for greater than equals to. I want another bucket wherein people are greater than 75. So if it is greater than 75 and then I want the output as 75 to 100. Okay, and then I'm going to add another if clause over here. Select the age years column is greater than or equals to. I need 50. So anybody who is between 50 to 75, I want to, I want them to fall into this particular group and then I'm going to call this as 50 to 75. Likewise, I'll go back here, select age years is greater than or equals to. Now I'm going to select um, 25 so, and then this group becomes 25 to uh, 50. Okay, uh, so and then and I need another age clause over here. It's going to be age greater than or equals to, um, I want another group which is greater than 18 to 25. So it is 18 to 25, okay? And then anybody who is less than 18 over here, if this is an else condition over here, if any, if it does not match any of these conditions, so obviously it is, we have covered greater than 100. We don't have the less than 18 covered over here. So that those are the people who are going to fall into this particular bracket. So I'm gonna call this as zero, to 18 okay and then i'm going to click on okay over here so this will automatically add a new bucket for me and then i'm going to go to home tab and then click on close and apply let's go to the uh, report tab and start building our report so we have the age bucket column which is created now so these are the buckets that we just created i'm going to quickly transform this into a column chart 
and bring in the same age bucket into the y axis. So now we've got the counts of all the groups over here and let's quickly turn on the data labels. I want the actual number of people who fall under that particular uh, bucket over here. So as you can see over here, we've created a custom bucket over here. Uh, so people who are from uh, between the age of 25 to 50 are into this particular bucket and there are 13,911 people. So this is how you can create a custom uh, bins within Power BI. But as you can see over here, these are not sorted the way we wanted. We wanted 0 to 18 here in the first uh, section over here and then 25 to 50. If you don't know how to custom sort the columns in the uh, column chart over here, I will leave a link to the another tutorial that I have on my channel. Uh, please watch that tutorial that will help you custom sort the data on a column chart. That's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.